What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm going to be showing you guys some combos to one of my favorite decks of all time and that is Dino. Now if you guys saw yesterday's video I showed off the new way to play Dino in today's format and that is branded Dino and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys combos for that deck, how you can end on boards with four disruptions with multiple different hands. So not just one combo that ends on four, different hands that can end on four disruptions. You heard me right, this deck is really really powerful, I think you guys should try it out for yourselves. If you guys didn't check out the deck profile make sure to check it out it's already on the channel and if you guys do enjoy this content make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content now I'm really excited to be showing you guys these combos I think you can take away a lot from this video there's gonna be multiple different combos multiple different hands different ways to get to the same combo and yeah there's just a lot in this video so without further ado I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting let's get into the combos so all you need for this combo here is a soul eating oviraptor as well as a baby Sarasaurus. and I'm going to show you guys another combo where if you don't open baby you guys can still do it but keep in mind that if you open fossil dig it replaces one of these two so if you open ovi plus fossil dig or baby plus fossil dig it's the exact same thing but I'm going to show you guys the same combo with another hand essentially but yeah you're going to want to be opening these two this is the best two card combo in your deck and then just to show you guys we're going to be playing three more cards in a hand over here that we're just going to put off to the side to show you guys how many cards we still have in hand at the end of this okay so here we're starting off with five cards of course and this is a gold blind second deck so keep that in mind however there are going to be times where you're forced to go first because your opponent is going to be like oh we're playing against dino if they go first they're not going to be able to play wrong this deck is insane i'm going to be showing you guys this combo that you guys need to know for when you're forced to go first you can actually continue to play and actually win games okay so what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your oviraptor activate your oviraptor effect to search a miscellaneousaurus from your deck to your hand then you're going to activate the miscellaneousaurus to pitch it now your dinos are pretty much protected you're going to activate misc again to banish it so now it's banished so that you can summon an archosaur from your deck to your side of the field archosaur will trigger to pop baby at this point it's just standard dino stuff that you guys have probably seen before however it changes up a little bit and i'm going to get into that when i get to that point but right now it's kind of like still generic dino stuff so you're going to pop your baby and you're going to get to search your double evolution pill baby is also going to trigger now to summon another baby from your deck and so this is what i mean where it's like you're just getting into like a little baby loop that dino always used to do here now that you have the other baby you're going to activate the ov to pop the baby that's on the field to summon back the baby that was in the graveyard and then this baby will now trigger and you're going to summon a giant rex to your side of the field again zones don't matter so obviously you guys don't see that i have any zones here i'll quickly just put a field center down so you guys can kind of get an idea but essentially like you don't really care about the zones so much in this deck because the zones don't matter too much so here what you're going to do is you're going to go archosaur link it away now and you're going to go into your link karibo the reason you need to go into link karibo is because you need something for double evolution pill of course in a real game if you have hand traps those could suffice if you open other cards like branded fusion you can send stuff to the graveyard those also suffice so yeah don't don't get me wrong you don't need the link Kribo, but in this case you do because we're assuming that we have nothing else right so here we're gonna go link Kribo and giant rex you're gonna link these two away to go into your verte anaconda then what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate your double evolution pill banishing the link Kribo, of course from your graveyard and you're also gonna banish the giant rex because you're gonna want you're gonna want to get giant rex effect off so you're gonna banish those two to first of all summon your ultimate conductor tyranno giant rex will activate now to special summon itself back now that everything's resolved essentially what you can just do is uh you can xe summon with these two and make either logia or you can make dolka in this situation i usually like to make dolka instead of logia just because dolka puts up two disruptions for you so i like to make dolka here but of course you can make logia as well but dolka puts up two disruptions and then what you're going to do is now you're going to activate your verte to send your branded fusion and then branded fusion is going to send albaz from your deck and it's also going to send itself off the field of course because you need to meet the requirement for mirror jade and then you can summon the mirror jade Okay, this doesn't have to be an extra monster zone. It could be in the main monster zone. It doesn't really matter. You have zones no matter what, right? So here you're in a good spot. It doesn't matter where you summon it. But here, this board is actually very, very powerful. Now you're ending on the baby on the board, right? And why this is actually really strong is because Dolka now has two monster negates. So you have two disruptions with Dolka. You have one disruption with Conductor and one disruption with Mirror Jade. So that's four right there, right? But the best part about this is you still have three cards in hand, which means you still have card advantage. And you have the baby Sarasaurus on your side of the field, which means that you can Conductor pop the baby on your opponent's turn baby's going to be able to summon an Oviraptor. raptor ov raptor is going to be able to search a card to your hand and now you have follow-up so the best part about this combo is not only do you have a disruption in tyranno with baby on the field you also have follow-up so you have four disruptions here plus follow-up plus three cards still in hand all off of two cards 
So now I want to show you guys something a little bit different. There's going to be times where you don't have baby OV in hand. There's going to be times where you have baby misc or you're going to have misc OV in hand without the baby, right? And I'm not talking about fossil digs here either because of course fossil digs essentially counts as the other one that you need. We're not going to count fossil digs here. We're going to pretend we don't have fossil digs. But the reason you have to know how to play with these hands is because it's essentially the same combo, but I'm going to show you guys how to get to the combo a little bit differently. So with misc and baby, so if you don't open the OV Raptor, but at the end of the day, it all ends on the exact same combo. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it started. Once you get to the point where I've shown you guys the combo before, then you guys can see, of course, where the combo goes. I'm not going to repeat the combo over and over, but I want to show you guys different hands that get to the same combo, essentially. So first, what we're going to start off is, of course, we're not going to start off by summoning our Oviraptor because we don't have an Oviraptor summon. So we're going to use our Misk. We're going to activate our Misk from the graveyard now to banish itself to summon an Archosaur from our deck to our side of the field. Arcosaur can will trigger to pop the baby to search, of course, our double evolution pill, and baby will trigger to summon an OV Raptor from our deck. So here we're kind of in the same spot, but at this point, like we have just done it a little bit of in a different way. So now OV Raptor is gonna get to search, right? So now OV Raptor, all you're gonna do is you're still gonna search your baby Sarasaurus, and you still haven't used your normal summon. So now you're gonna normal summon your baby and you go OV, pop baby, summon baby, baby in graveyard effect to special summon your giant rex and you guys can see we're at the exact same place that we started off in our last combo because now you're just gonna go this into link karibo link karibo giant rex into your verte pill and then boom 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 so here we got to the exact same combo with a different hand i don't want to show you guys this again because I, I don't want to like repeat the process over and over you guys kind of get it point is you need to get to this point but once you get to this point your combo is fine your combo is good to go you're going to end on the four disruptions again so i just wanted to show you guys a different hand and i'm actually going to be showing you guys a different hand coming up right now so i showed you guys baby ov i showed you guys misc baby now i'm going to be showing you guys ov misc right so what you're going to do is you're just going to start off by normal summoning your ov raptor searching your baby misc is now going to trigger and then it's going to trigger again in the graveyard to search our archosaur archosaur is going to trigger it's pop our baby baby is going it's going to get to search a double evolution pill baby is going to get to summon baby and then ov pop baby summon the baby back from the graveyard baby effect to summon your giant rex and boom you're back to the four spaces like you're back to the exact same spot again with double evolution pill this is going to go into link karibo so now you guys can see that there's multiple different hands that essentially get you to the exact same combo and that's really important because essentially now i showed you guys how to do the dino combo i showed you guys how the branded engine goes into the dino combo which is very very important now i'm going to show you guys one more combo that's not necessarily this exact same combo i just want to show you guys different hands that get to this combo but i'm going to be showing you guys one more combo that's a little bit less powerful but i want to show you guys what you can do if you open the branded fusion so lastly here, I'm going to be showing you guys a two and a half card combo. The reason I say two and a half is because you need any other dino in your hand, okay? So for this combo, I chose the worst dino in your hand, which is Arcosaur. But theoretically, it could be any one of your dinos in your hand and this combo will still work. But I just want to show you guys the worst dino Arcosaur, okay? Because if this was a baby, of course, you still have the full combo. I don't want to show you guys the baby stuff. I'm going to be showing you guys with any other dino in hand, okay? So what you're going to start off by doing is, of course, you're going to start off by summoning your Oviraptor and you're going to activate your Oviraptor here and you're going to get to to search your ultimate conductor tyranno that's really important that you search a conductor tyranno here because conductor is going to be able to summon itself and give you another form of disruption on your opponent's turn right then what you're going to do is you're going to activate the brand infusion and you're going to send the albaz as well as the quatlist from your deck now quatlist is very important because it's going to get you into a pill which is kind of like follow up for the next turn so that's why you want to be sending the quatlist and you're going to summon a lubelion so once you summon the lubelion over here you're going to activate your lubelion you're going to activate your quatlist quatlist is going to get to search you a double evolution pill lubelion is going to put itself back as well as the fallen of albaz by discarding a card by the way so that's why you need the other dino because what you're going to do is you're going to send this other dino you're going to activate the lubelion you're going to put these two back and then you're going to get your mirror jade on them board okay so now once you have mirror jade you have two dinos now in your graveyard so now that you have two dinos in your graveyard again this could be any dino i just wanted to show you guys the archosaur but once you have two you can summon your conductor by banishing these two and boom so you're still ending on two disruptions here at a minimum and this is not opening your baby not opening fossil dig not opening misc now of course if you open a baby a fossil dig a misc it's even better it's even stronger but i want to show you guys at a minimum what you guys can do right so here what's really nice is it gives you two disruptions and i know it's only two disruptions right but funny enough these two disruptions are very powerful the reason for that is because when you go mirror jade effect let's say to banish an opponent's card right what you can do is you can send your titanic clad or you can send the sprint right you can send one of these two so let's just say here you're going to send your sprint right and then you're going to banish a card on this side of the field right what happens here is on your end phase the sprint is going to get to activate and the sprint is going to get the special summon the fallen of albaz from your deck onto your side of the field so here what you're going to do is you're going to summon the albaz on your opponent's end phase now the really strong thing about this combo is because now that albaz is on summoned you can activate its effect actually to pitch a card 
and then super poly with one of your opponent's monsters, which is really strong because what this can do now for you is it can potentially give you a Titanic clad, it can potentially give you an Albion, it can potentially give you a Draco Stapelia, so many different things that you guys can do on your end phase just with the Fauna Albaz because you have that extra essentially card with the Mirror Jade. But I also want to mention the reason this is also really powerful is because let's just say your opponent breaks your board, right? Let's just say they break your board. What happens now is essentially you have the double evolution pill and you have targets for your double evolution pill. So on your next turn, you still have access to a conductor just with this card and we still have two cards left in our hand and in our turn we're gonna get to draw an extra card right so who knows what that card is you guys can keep playing but i wanted to show you guys a combo where essentially you don't open the baby you don't open miss you don't open all your big combo starters but as soon as you open branded fusion with an ov you're perfectly fine because you're still going to be ending on two disruptions you're still going to have follow-up for your next turn and that's what's really powerful about this deck so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy okay i'm going to be honest with you there is a lot more combos that i could have shown off but i didn't want this video to be super super long however i did show you guys some important combos that you need to know keep in mind that this deck is a deck that wants to go second i just wanted to show you guys some combos that you could do going first but of course these hands completely change if you're going second you have a sixth card that card could be super poly you can end on boards with draco stapilia more disruptions etc etc so just keep that in mind i wanted to show you guys how you guys can play this deck going first still be competitive and still win games even though dino is known for a deck that goes second essentially and tries to otk your opponent so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already if you guys are new here welcome to the spanko squad and if you guys have already been part of the spanko squad i appreciate you thank you for being here thank you guys all for watching spanko side it out peace Get up, get up, we want you to